Hey guys, today's my mom's birthday, and today we went and saw a good movie, Elysium. Yes guys, this is the new sci-fi movie that a lot of people have been talking about, and I've been waiting for since I saw the picture of Matt Damon last year. So I'm excited. Um, this movie is a follow-up to District 9, and the same director of District 9, I don't know, I can't say his name, but he directed this movie. So yeah. Let's get this story. Okay, Matt Damon is pretty much living on Earth. He and the Earth is pretty much a dump. Like, people get sick, people die, it's a wasteland, people are just it's it sucks. It's pretty much dump land. And these robots are people like make people like all these men work. Work in these factories and all that kind of stuff. But then far, far away in space is this place called Elysium. And that's where all the rich people live. The rich people are pretty much like Jodie Foster and all of them, and they're like billions of dollars, millions of dollars, and all they do is just lay in this thing, and this thing like clears cancer or anything. Like if you got shot, you would like heal it up real quick, and that's kind of cool. And that's what everybody needs to get to. So, so Matt Damon plans to invade Elysium. That's the main story. This movie is so freaking good. I loved this movie. It's probably my top 10 favorite movies now. I'm not even kidding. This is a good movie. Okay, the story, it, it you, you can make it flow. It can flow, pretty much. It makes sense, and it, it really does good. Now, the director of District 9, he's a very good director. He's only directed, like, two movies. This and District 9. District 9 is a great movie. This is a great movie. Matt Damon, he does a really cool job. He is a bad A when he puts the suit on and everything, but he's not my favorite character. Jodie Foster, she plays a good, mean person. Because if, if, when you're watching a movie, and you watch the person who's playing the bad guy, and, if you, and they make you feel like, oh, we hate you, they're doing a job. Example, just an example, like Back to the Future, Biff. Everyone hates him, but he was acting as a, as a real douche. But that's what we wanted you. To, that's what we wanted everyone to be, and we did think that. So, makes sense. But and in this movie, Jodie Foster is the bad guy, not to me. That's what everyone says. She's the bad guy, but not to me. I cannot say his name, but he's the main character in District Nine, and he's the crazy dude in Eighteen. I forget his, I, can't, I know his name, I can't say it, so I might even try. But if you know what I'm talking about, he is the best character on screen ever. He's the best bad guy. He plays the army, like, guy, like, main person, and he steals the show. I don't know his accent. I don't know his accent, but his accent is awesome. Kind of reminds me of, like, Christoph Waltz from Django a little bit, but his is more, like, deeper, I guess. But he steals the show. Fair character than me. Better than that Damon to me, to leave. Because he's, he played a good bad guy. So, yeah, guys. This movie is a 5 out of 5. No, like, don't, like, don't even ask. 5 out of, I'm, 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10. I don't know. This movie deserves a lot more. So yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Um, please keep comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time in my next review. Bye, guys.